Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video I'm going to show you a little gameplay from each of the games that we're able to install off of the Arcade Soft mod provided to us by Arcade and his anonymous friend. I'm going to show you what we've learned about each game, and we will take a little about the gameplay. The first thing we will do is demo the stock games and show you the very basic menu and talk a little about using it. When you boot a Simpsons cab with a basic, Arcade Soft mod done, you'll be presented with a basic menu. At the top of the basic menu, it will say one of two things, use 1UP as home, or use TMNT Plus as home. The one in the top will be the last one you loaded, the one on the bottom will be the one you can change to. When you have this menu, keep, or select, a new option, and then always select just once, to launch your selection. If you select the always you can always go into your settings and change the default launcher. For myself personally, I believe that this game plays as well as it can, with its control layout. In truth I'm not happy with the button configuration. Homer's controls alone look as if the button placement team may have been on LSD. When you pair the button placement, with the hardware quality, it does seem to take away from the gameplay. That being said I got my Simpsons cab on sale, I've been able to add games to it, giving me a better value for my money spent, so in truth I'm probably overthinking all of this, and probably complaining about nothing. Truly the gameplay on the standard Simpsons fighting arcade, is as it was intended by Arcade 1UP, and I have no issues with this game at all. I'm not sure why, but on this first run the game took a minute to boot up. Once it was booted it ran fine, and I've not had any issues since. I believe I just need to be patient, but I'll not lie, I freaked out a little inside when this took a minute. If you'd like to unlock Grandpa check out the link above. He's a fun easter egg to play, and he has some great stats. This game also played very well. I believe, because they're using the Duck Station version of this ROM, we get much better overall compatibility when playing this game. I've seen a few big differences between the Arcade 1UP ROM, and the ROM I've used on MAME. Regardless this game preforms well with this mod, the controls work well, the easter egg is very cool, and it's fun to play. Overall it really works and plays well. Let's turn off the cab, and reboot it so we can re-enter the basic menu. Once in the basic menu, we'll need to make sure we have the TMNT Plus, a 1UP, selected, and always only use the just once option.
I've never played the main event in real life, but after doing a little reading I found that it was big in Japan when it was first released by Konomi in 1988. The game does seem to work, and is playable. I can say that I'm not the best test subject as I've not used the cabinet before now, but it seems okay. I did hear an echo now and again when I was playing. I believe this is because main does this sometimes when it needs the frame skip set a little higher. In reality the game doesn't play bad, and I may be being a little picky. Also this may be how the game plays in real life, and I just don't know that. Also, I thought that I had to press the player and live key at the same time to exit. I was wrong, all you have to do is hit the live key, and you exit. This next game I was told is a little like a well-known game called Altered Beast, and I'm happy to report that it is. The gameplay is very smooth, and I hate to say it but this is another game I've not played at an arcade, but other than the button placement, this game feels right. Overall it's a great add to the Simpsons cab, like I said, it feels good, the game looks great, and its play is very enjoyable. Out of all the new games on the new APK this is my favorite. This next game I've played, and yeah, it's a cool game to play. The side-scrolling beat-em-up arcade game Vendetta, also known as Crime Fighters 2 in Japan, was created and released by Konami in 1991. Even though it was advertised abroad as a standalone game with no prior links, it is the sequel to Konami's 1989 game Crime Fighters. I've got to say Vendetta's gameplay totally feels right, and I'm sure that at this level of hardware, we're running at 100% accuracy on this game's emulation. This is another one of those fun games that not a ton of people know about, and it's really a great add to this four-player cab.
a basketball video game called Punk Shot was created and launched in 1990 for arcade systems by Konami. Punk Shot is a 2 vs 2 basketball game that plays similarly to a traditional basketball game but with added street characteristics. The game's fascinating gameplay components include the player's ability to punch or kick their opponents as well as different hazards like fire, holes in the ground, crows that fly at them, cats that drop trash on the ground, etc. I totally suck at basketball, and I've never seen this game in real life. With that said, the game is playable, and looks as if it could be fun. Both the Turtle games played identical to the old APK files. So if you had that installed you'll know how it feels. For those of you that haven't, well the truth is, both Turtles games are playable, and a lot of fun. The two downfalls are the online play does not exist, and the jump and attack buttons are wrong. If you want to play online you're going to need to just buy a stock cap. I don't believe it will ever be possible to get the Turtles games or the newfound games to play online. In conclusion all of these games are playable, and will work with the controls native to the Simpsons arcade cabinet. This updated mod will now give you both Turtles games, two new sports games, and two new fighting games. There are a few other mods that you can do, but this is by far the easiest of them all. Very simple to do as it takes less than 10 minutes, and it can give you and the family hours of fun. I'd like to take a second and thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend, it really helps the channel grow.